Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know I rarely ever post videos, so I'm sorry to those of you who have been subscribed to me for a while. Uh, lately I've been spending a lot of my free time working on 3D printing stuff for fun, so if you're not into that and you want to see videos about something else, feel free to leave a suggestion in the comments. Anyway, I wanted to make this video to cover a basic piece of routine maintenance on one of my 3D printers, the Monoprice Maker Select V2. Probably the most fundamental part of getting a good print out of your 3D printer is getting a good first layer. And one of the best ways to accomplish that is by making sure your bed is level before you start printing. This is the routine I follow about once a month or whenever I start having problems with getting my prints to stick. First, I start by raising my Z-axis up about halfway, and I remove any plastic from the nozzle left over from my last print. Next, I tighten all four corners of the bed until it's as low as it will go and completely flat. I push the Y axis back until it's about halfway under the X axis, then I grab something small like a pill bottle, or in this case I used a spool of wire that I had laying around but anything small and cylindrical will work. Place the object on the bed under the bottom bearing rod and use the control box to slowly and carefully lower the Z axis a little bit at a time until it almost touches the top of the spool. You may need to disable the stepper motors before this next part, so use the control box to go to quick settings, disable stepper. Now you should be able to turn your Z-axis lead screws by hand to raise or lower each side of your X-carriage. Next, I'll move the spool over to the left side of the bed under the bearing rod. Rotate the lead screw on this side until it matches the distance on the right side, and you'll want to repeat this process two or three times until you're sure both sides match. This step is important because it makes sure your X-axis is level with your bed, and it may be difficult to level your bed properly without that. When the X carriage is level, take the spool off of the bed and use the control box to home all. Grab a sheet of printer paper and place it on the bed under the nozzle, and start raising the front two corners of the bed in equal amounts until the nozzle just starts to grip the paper. Then, lower the corner down just a tiny bit. You don't want the nozzle to grip the paper, but you want it as close as possible without that happening. Next, do the same thing for the back two corners, and always leave the paper between the nozzle and the bed when moving the X or Y axis. This prevents scratching up the build surface or damaging the nozzle, or makes it less likely anyway. Uh, switch back and forth between the front two and the back two corners a few times before checking each corner individually and making small adjustments one at a time. Also, adjusting corners in your bed doesn't just affect the one you want it to, so don't give up until you can check each corner individually and get roughly the same distance between nozzle and bed. With the stock configuration of the Maker Select V2, you'll probably need to do the paper check on all four corners every one to four prints or whenever your prints start failing to stick. Before I started going mod crazy on my printer, I literally had to re-level after every print. If you own this printer, I'm sure you've noticed by now that I have two sets of thumb screws holding my hotbed in place instead of springs. I got the idea from watching Thomas Sunlauter's Prusa i3 clone build video. He used two regular nuts on the top and bottom of the Y carriage and no springs, which makes a lot of sense. It makes your build plate way more rigid and less likely to go unlevel from putting force on the bed, which happens every time you remove a print. I prefer going without the springs personally. It means I only have to level my bed every couple of weeks or so, but it also means it's a little harder to level and I don't have springs cushioning my hot bed if the nozzle ever does come crashing down. So if you switch to springless, you have to be extra careful to make sure that that doesn't happen. And here's a test print I did after leveling the bed, adding a coat of glue stick. 
Normally you don't need glue stick with newer build tack, but the build tack on my bed is getting a little old and worn out, so I use glue stick as a little bit of extra motivation. You can see that one of the corners in the bench sheet did come up slightly because there's a dent in the middle of my build tack sheet, but the rest of the base stuck perfectly to the bed. Anyway, if this video was at all helpful to you, feel free to click the like or subscribe button, or if you have any suggestions for other videos you'd like to see, feel free to leave them down in the comments section. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.